Rolling, looking, just going to throw it as far as his arm can take him. Jones is down there, incomplete, no flag. Bobby McCain on the coverage. We've seen so many games decided this year on pass interference calls. You can see McCain, he's kind of tugging on his jersey. I think what the official sees. See that right there? See when McCain turns and finds the ball? That's what they're looking for out of the secondary player. He's playing the ball. I like the no call. McCain's kind of pulling on the back of Jones's, but you know, I think in this situation, we've seen so many games decided. We saw it on Thanksgiving, you know, against Dallas. Curse gets picked up on a blitz, and the pass is caught. It's a good protection as they bring Garrett Griffin across. The flag in the backfield. Right side block. Half the distance to the goal. First down. See that first down erased. Well, this is for 32. This is, that's a that's a terrible call. I, I don't blame Sean Payne. I mean, it's just a terrible call. Prescott. Throws and the pass picked. Intercepted by Lattimore. And the play made by the Saints defense. And then he lays it up and you see he's, he's just determined. He, they got it, Saints got away with one there. Granderson, I've certainly, you know, you say forcible contact. I've seen a, a lot less called. I think they call that. I don't think the official saw it. Under siege. And trying to stay in, leaps out of bounds. We'll see where they spot him. Looks like he's going to be short. Personal foul. Defense number 41. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Well, I, you know, I, I don't necessarily agree with that. Josh Allen was in bounds and he leaps. He's in bounds there. He hasn't touched out of bounds yet. Bears lean on their run attack, but they're worth the play fake now. Darnell Mooney gets hammered by Murphy, and a penalty flag comes flying in. Just to say roughness, defense number seven, blow to the head of a defenseless player, 15-yard penalty. He's just going to explode, and I, you know, I get it. Uh, we're trying to protect guys. It's I right understand call. that. It's, the right, it's the right call. It is helmet to helmet, but... I tell you what, I love the fact it's really shoulder right he, there. He, I think the he upper. wanted to lead with the shoulder properly. I think he did. I think he did lead with the shoulder. That's what Vance Joseph right there, right. defensive coordinator. See, man, that's all shoulder. Pass interference. Defense number 37. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic. First down. You know he has that hand on his arm. Robert Sala not happy about it. I think we could read the lips there. Play clock at five. Oh, Mosley jumps! My goodness! It just looked so apparent that that's what the Eagles were going to do. And Mosley moved. Now, was he provoked? The Jets are saying that someone on Philadelphia moved. The center, Jason Kelsey. Encroachment. Defense number 57 five yard penalty results in a first down oh it might have been just the slightest little bit movement slight forward. movement but wilson looking deep nobody home Moore is the intended target he's pleading his case for a penalty he's not going to get it and robert sala has run out onto the field he's had just about enough of this officiating does he get a little tug? I mean, that's more than five yes. yards down the field. I don't think that Robert Sala has enjoyed the officiating today. Cousins faking the handoff on second down. Here they come. Contact football is loose. That's a live football, and it is recovered by Detroit. But I tell you what, Cousins took an inadvertent shot right in the face mask area. How did you see this? He definitely does, and, and in slow motion, when we look at it, it looks very severe. In real time, I can tell you from doing it for the years I was back there, that's such a glancing uh, uh, kind of hit to a face mask. But it is the quarterback, guys, so contact that's of force to a quarterback could draw a foul. Out of the two-minute warning. Here's Allen to throw, batted up in the air. 
going in the going with the wind. That's a big hit from Judon, and you could argue he brings his weight down on top of the quarterback even. Those get called sometimes, but... Uh, Cardinals, though, certainly in the driver's seat, not only a two-game lead entering play today, as the sack comes. So Trevor Lawrence, last time out, took a hit. He was unhappy that there was not a roughing the passer call for the helmet-to-helmet. -helmet. In fact, it sent him into the tent. Throws it away. Personal foul, roughing the passer. He's coming out before Cup even turns around. Okay. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 95. <laughs> That's like, hey, give me some free yards, bud. He's going along for Deontay Johnson. Oh, he oh, got him hammered God. on the sideline. Well, that's got to be a penalty, right? I mean, you can hear it up here. There's no flag. Well, oh. oh, maybe it was. A, you looked clean right there, didn't it, Jim? Ooh, that's really close. Ooh, ow. It's not a hit on a defenseless receiver because it's not in the head or neck area, Jim, but unnecessary roughness because that ball is so far uncatchable and the players are breaking hey, down. I would support a foul for unnecessary roughness on the hit. Roughing the passer, defense, number 98. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Wow. I mean, that was a third and ten. On this overload pressure, Crosby's the inside stunt. Well, they're going to say, I guess he landed his body on top of him. I'm not sure if I saw that. So his body weight, yeah, see how he kind of picks him up and drives him into the ground. They're trying to eliminate that. A lot of learn this weekend. Here's Heineke trying to set up a screen pass. Bates is nowhere to go. Jonathan Abram came up from the safety position and blew it up. This is going to be interesting. This is a new rule in the NFL this year. A defender and offensive player, they are not allowed to go low outside of the tight end box. So take a look here at Abram. In years past, he could do this. Personal foul, illegal block below the waist, defense, number 24. That 15-yard penalty is enforced from the previous spot. Automatic, first down. You see Rich Passaccia saying, but he made the tackle, he went low. What are you supposed to do? I'm not sure. When they announced the rule, that was my first gut instinct. That, you know, I had been around where offensive linemen were taught, run through contact, run through contact, most likely he's going to go low. And it was really the defender's best opportunity. You got Brandon Sheriff you know, coming out, he's 320 pounds and you're a DB. I'm not sure what they want the defensive player to do, but that is the rule. Play clock at one. Bridgewater down the sideline and that's incomplete. The coverage is good. Barbarius Ward has really picked up his game lately and Sutton is their number one deep threat and he's all over that. You could say there's a little contact down the field beyond five yards. Holding. Offense number 75. 75 here. Lakin Tomlinson at guard. Just trying to hold on. He's got a combo block. There's no need to, to grab. But as soon as Jimmy starts to run, that's a ticky-tack foul. I'm not sure that that was holding in the classic sense of the word. Holding. holding. Defense. Oh, the Steelers. Watch 57 right here in the middle. Sometimes you hold people so your linebackers can run by and get... Um, yeah, that's not a hold to me. I understand you. You know, we're seeing that call more often, Tony, now. That, th there is parts of it that's true, but that one's specifically, no, that would be incorrect. I mean, third and goal from the three. Ryan throws to the end zone. Falcons were looking for a flag. I'm watching Jamel Dean. He does hook the hip of Cordero Patterson. Now, does he turn Cordero Patterson? Moving toward the center. Time in the pocket, a little high and almost intercepted. There's Jalen Waddle in motion, working on James Bradbury. He gets inside, maybe a little hook and pull right there you could have taken a look at. Now he's stumbling, he's kind of out of control, so. Things from them and they're both producing. Over <laughs> uncorks, Allen wanted a flag. Incomplete in a matchup with Eli Apple. And he's extremely unhappy that, un unhappy that the flag doesn't come out. Apple comes back to him and you see why, look at the hands down below on the hips on the jersey into a tight window looking for Ertz good coverage that time unsportsmanlike conduct defense number five for taunting 
There he is. And that's, they're flagging you for that. I know that's the emphasis, but. Almost intercepted. As that was Clark jumping up in the air, nearly coming down with it. Now it's third and ten, and this crowd has worked up. Roethlisberger guns it down the middle, it's tipped, and falls incomplete. Oh, they're going to throw a flag on Kendrick Green for slinging down Chuck Clark. He's not trying to, like, hurt him. He's tackling him because literally Clark got the ball and started running for a touchdown as if the play was still going. After the play was over, personal foul. Face mask. Oh, face mask. The offense number 53. Got two to snap it. Let's we'll see if they got the flag or the timeout. Offense number 17. Five yard penalty. Still second out. There's the delay of game. That was really close. Sean McDermott obviously disagrees. This is really, really tight. The, the back judge will take a look at that clock when it's zero, then come down to find the football. Based on the whole season, it's a really tight delay of game. Denver is challenging the ruling on the field of an incomplete pass. All right, there it is. Is it complete and a fumble and a clear recovery? Goes as an incomplete pass. We'll show you after the next play if we can. This is one of the odder challenges I've seen in terms of here it is in slow motion. One foot down, two, there's a third foot, then it comes out. So that looks like a fumble and a recovery. But that won't False count. Start, number 15, offense, five yard penalty, third down. Ooh, they got Patrick Mahomes for the hard count there. Say what? Go ahead, Terry. Tell me why that's a penalty. Come on, man. This is your job. Core quarterback and shotgun can't <laughs> abruptly, quick and abrupt, lift his arms up. That is the strategy they have to take. They have to hope they can get that done. Blasted, and Cook did not get there. The previous play is under further review. Every time we've seen a spot play, it's been very difficult to determine. And I've rarely seen one overturn where they give you the spot on the replay. I got to tell Typically, you, it's what stands. It, it looked like he stayed in bounds, though. And that was the call by right Camp. Here. And then he lunges. The ruling on the field was forward progress, which is not a challengeable play. Therefore, we're allowing Los Angeles to pick up their challenge flag. Because the challenge flag did actually come out before the false start, there is no false start charged. It's fourth down and two yards to go. Apologies for the delay. Fourth down. All right, Gene, what's your take on that? Very confusing because you have a runner moving forward, not being driven backward, taking himself out of bounds on his own volition and not being driven back. So to come out of this now and say that there's progress, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me from where I sit, guys.